Washington, Ms. Morris Rogers. JLA from Washington is recognized for two minutes. I thank the, the chairman from the great state of Washington for yielding. Uh, and I rise in strong support of Mr. Amaday's legislation, important legislation, the National Strategic and Critical Minerals Production Act, because if we want to build it in America, then we need to be able to mine it in, in America. And this legislation is important in identifying and promoting strategic and critical minerals here in America. It will make us more competitive by addressing permitting delays, improving the NEPA process, and revitalizing our domestic critical minerals supply chain. Madam Speaker, it takes longer to receive a mining development permit in the United States than any of the other 25 mining nations in the world. The average waiting period for a permit is seven to ten years, and in many examples, it's much longer. We can improve this process without changing our environmental standards. The Kettle River Buckhorn Mine in eastern Washington, who employs over 400 people in Ferry County, knows this all too well. The EIS schedule and now the important exploratory permits to keep them operating has been delayed for years and was recently delayed for an additional year without much ex explanation. This bill is important. It's important to bringing jobs to America, bringing job certainty to Ferry County and Eastern Washington. Right now, many foreign countries are requiring companies that buy raw materials from them to produce the products those minerals are a part of in that foreign country. If you are concerned about America, American infrastructure, if you are concerned about American manufacturing, if you are concerned about American energy independence, American mining, or American jobs, I urge you to support H.R. 4402. And I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Gentleman from Massachusetts. Yes, I um, 